Today on Roblox Drama! Sona draw stuff? More like Sona scam stuff! But it wasn't Sona scamming! Ah, oh, holy moly, there is a lot going on! Popular YouTuber Sona Draw Stuff has been hacked, striked, and terminated from the YouTube platform. And so many members of the Roblox YouTube community, the Roblox Twitter community, including the man, the myth, the legend, Minikoon, <laughs> have really come forward to show their support. It truly is beautiful! But the thing is, this has been going on for a week! How did this happen? Why wasn't it resolved? Will Sona continue to draw stuff? We got the scoop to keep you in the loop. Let's get right into the drama. Come with me, everybody. We're going on a trip back into the past. Five days ago, I don't know, no, probably like four days ago. I don't do math. On August 26th, this is when we first heard about the incident. Sona Draw Stuff tweets, please read. My YouTube account was hacked. I was reached out in Gmail for a sponsorship. I've never been sponsored before. They sent me a link for the sponsor and I clicked on it and they changed my password and phone number. Please spread this, my channel is in danger. And then in the comments below she replies, I have no way of getting back in. I was too naive and I'm so scared guys, I don't know what to do. YouTube takes three to five days to respond. So it appears that Sona was the victim of a spear phishing attack. So if you don't know what a phishing attack is, a phishing attack is the basic attack and it's when an attacker pretends to be a trusted entity or person and they dupe a victim into opening an email, instant message or text message. Basically, when you get in your email, oh buddy, you haven't been paying your IRS tax. You'd better press this link and go to our website before we send in the freaking US Army into your house. But then there's a level above that, everyone. Then we get into spear phishing and spear phishing is even more dangerous than your usual phishing attack because spear phishing Fishing requires them to research the individual that they're going to attack, in this case Sona plays, before they actually send it and they craft the email around that. In which case, this is what they did. They knew Sona Draw Stuff was a YouTuber, so they crafted up a funky company sponsorship offer and sent it right to her. And she clicked the link thinking it was a sponsorship. She then tweets, I know some people are saying it's my fault for being dumb. I just gave them the benefit of the doubt. I shouldn't have, but it was my first sponsor and I was naive. They had a legit looking website and trailer for the game. It looked real. Well, now I know. Don't be dumb like me, lol. And before you hop on the haha -ha troll train saying, Sona, geez, you're one of the dumbest people I know for doing that. Well, I actually nearly fell for one of these. I got an email literally just last week, right? It wasn't from a game company or anything. This time it was from a music app. They were offering for a sponsorship, but it was something I'd never heard of before. Like I'd never heard of it. And so I clicked clicked on the link which took me to their website. They had a really, really legit looking website and everything. Then they had like a download our program function. But then when I looked it up on Google, there was no mention of them at all. I tried looking up their company, their app, nothing was there. So I was just like, oh, I, I don't, I'm too busy uh, and left it at that. But I can see why it's so easy to fall for one of those scams, especially if it's the first sponsorship offer you get sent. And a day later, Sona Draw Stuff says, the person who hacked me is now online. Line, meaning they could take action and do something bad. I know they are online because we talked through Discord. Wait, wait, wait. She's talking to the hacker through Discord? How did the hacker even get her Discord? And what were they talking about on the Discord? What they were having for lunch? Ah, uh, yes, how are you going, my friend? I hope your family is going well. Uh, now could you please give me back my account? Yeah, okay, thanks. If they post on my YouTube, do not click on any links they may post, etc. until I confirm my account is back. Do not trust my YouTube. And you know, at this point, I was kind of suspicious. I was like, hmm. Could this be a publicity stunt? There have been some people that have done that before, so I got a bit skeptical here. I was like, hmm. Anyway, she continues with posting this absolutely amazing meme when the hacker goes into my account and steals my money, but they see that none of it is there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Roblox scammers be like in my bank account. <laughs> and then it continues. I get YouTube takes time to fix these things, but I just really wish I had my channel back already. I don't want to wait until something bad happens and the wait isn't helping my anxiety because I have no idea if the hacker did anything to my account or not and I can't do anything. Little did we know, ladies and gentlemen, this was the foreshadowing of the upcoming plot against Sona Plays stuff. Now we're starting to move into the climax, everybody. Buckle up your seatbelt, hold on to your armchairs because it's about to get hectic. Again, on the same day, Sona says, me already stressed about my channel before definitely does not help how I feel right now. I just can't believe people are okay with taking something away from someone who worked so hard to get to where they are and poured their heart and soul into it. It's really low. And of course, it really is. It is low. It's horrible. Like, why would you do it for no reason? But we will soon find out. There is, in fact, a reason, and it is just as low as anything else. It's a horrible reason, but there is a reason. She keeps asking Team YouTube to respond, however, still silence from YouTube. They're nowhere to be seen. But then, everybody, just before midnight on the 29th of August, it happens. Start the alarm bells, because they've changed the profile picture. They're going to post something bad. Spread this, please. Warn everyone. I don't know what they plan on doing YouTube's just sitting there eating their popcorn twiddling their thumbs watching what's gonna happen the RTC community shares the post 571 people are retweeting thousands of people are liking desperately trying to get YouTube's attention then they start streaming on the channel live stream begins and what is the live stream of well we have an image right here it is a live stream on the day of Elon Musk's Neuralink but Elon Musk was recently targeted by a Bitcoin scam on Twitter as well is this the same type of scam? It's a live stream asking you to send bitcoins to a specific wallet and they'll double the amount of bitcoins back. It's the exact same scam that happened to freaking Obama on Twitter. Sona desperately pleads with the community not to click it. Even Flamingo himself, Albert Stuff retweets, Hey YouTube, my friend Sona Draw Stuff's channel has been hacked. She reached out days ago when it happened and nobody has been able to recover her channel for her. Today, they started scamming her viewers. Please YouTube, can we get Sona Draw Stuff's channel back? And alas, they did something, everybody. YouTube finally stepped in. They came in with the belt, going to clobber the hacker. Wham, they go to smack it, and they hit Sona. They terminate Sona's account. Thanks, YouTube. Wonderful job. So, Sona Draws Stuff's account is now terminated. And that's the end of that. Sona finishes with, my channel has been terminated. I was having an actual anxiety attack, and I was crying and panicking so much. I hope none of my fans fell victim to that scam. It was horrifying. And as you can see here, this account has been terminated for a violation of YouTube's terms of service. And that's where we're at, everybody. The climax of the movie has hit and the protagonist Sona Draw Stuff has lost nearly everything. But there is a spark of hope, a faint glimmer in the darkness. YouTube finally, after like five days, reaches out with, sorry, we missed your messages. We've sent you a DM with more information, so please check your inbox. And hopefully, big ol' YouTube can finally pull up their bootstraps and actually help Sona out. Wonderful job, YouTube. <sighs> but in all honesty here, that puts Sona draw stuff through so much pain, and like, as she said herself, she was having horrible anxiety from it. She was seriously affected by it, so I really do hope she's okay. Okay. Those situations where you feel helpless and like your hackers just mocking you, changing the profile picture, and then it goes to a live stream with a scam where scammers will be targeting a young audience who don't really understand what's going on. Honestly, that's heartbreaking. So I, I really do hope Sona Draws Stuff channel is okay and gets reinstated by YouTube. Now all that's left is to call the boys and go after that hacker. Oh yeah, speaking of the boys, I totally forgot about Minitoon. In the aftermath of all this, Minitoon says, Ahoy everyone, I usually I usually try my best to not make things too off topic, but this incredible content creator has unfortunately lost access to their YouTube channel, and Google is taking really long to respond. It would mean a lot for you to send any support to her at this time. Our knight in shining armor, Minitoon. Thank you, Minitoon. Thank you. And afterwards, an hour later, he says, thanks to everyone's support, YouTube is working with Sona to figure things out. Thank you all so much for helping her out. Absolutely amazing. Claps all around. So what do you think about this? 
this, everybody. What sort of game do you think the attacker faked to get Sona players to click on their sponsorship offer? And would you likely fall for that? I know I definitely would. I think this has been a really good lesson for all of us as well, to just check everything before you click on links, especially in your email. Like, that's a biggie. And of course, the most important lesson of all, if you're in trouble, just always know YouTube will be there for you. A week later. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!